Well, there you see the names of the record holders and, of course, Usain Bolt at the top of the list. 1993 he did back in 2004. What an astonishing run that was. Championship record at 2028 from Andrew Howe of Italy. Well, a dramatic burst into the stadium. Two South Africans there, both coached by uh, Henny Creel, actually, who really has uh, a lot of praise for his two men, Clarence Munyai and Tosliso Letella. We'll see how they get on. Drawn in lanes four and five, and certainly lanes four, five, and six are the ones you want to watch out for this evening. Not talking anyone else down. Nigel Ellis on the outside for Jamaica. He's pretty sharp as well. Did sub 20.8 in the semi finals. And it's Yun Yamashita in lane two. Cameron Tyndall done well to get it through to the final of PB yesterday. Fourth in the first of the heats. Yeah, Yamashita also with a PB to get through to this stage of the competition. There is Clarence Munyai. It's pretty sharp over 100, sub 10 3 in the 100. And certainly South African sprinting is on the way up amongst this group of athletes. I tell you what, it certainly is all the way up, all the way up to the seniors. They've had a sprinkling of athletes ducking inside 10 seconds this year after waiting for years and years and years to find one who can break 10 uh, seconds. Wade van Niekerk, of course, flying the flag, the first man ever to break 10 seconds for the 100 metres, 20 seconds for the 200 metres, and 44 seconds for the 400. Nobody's ever done that before, not Michael Johnson, not anyone. And uh, as you say, South African sprinting really uh, is riding the crest of a wave, and certainly if they got a winner here, it would be another major step forward. So it's been a rather interrupted preparation, hasn't it? Well, I was going to say, no no effort to make up for lost time at the moment. And that's fair dues for these athletes. They don't want to be rushed at this stage, having uh, had a long hold in the tunnel. Now we get a chance to look at each and every athlete. Yun Yamashita for Japan. Great run yesterday. Getting his personal best, as did Cameron Tyndall. 27-1. Can he better that tonight and make a good show of himself? Clarence Munyai, medals, certainly a possibility. Won his heat comfortably. Liotla Lela of South Africa, and he highly rated amongst the South Africans. 24-7 PB. Michael Norman on the outside, who just missed a place in the American Olympic team. 0.14 denying him in the 200. He also runs uh, 400. He's a great athlete. Roger Gursky for Germany in lane seven. Nigel Ellis goes for Jamaica in lane eight. Second in the third heat yesterday. And then we've got uh, Yang Shunghan. On the outside, they are all chasing him. So, Yamashita in two, Tyndall of Great Britain three, Munyai and the Otlala of South Africa in four and five, Norman of USA in six, Gursky in seven for Germany, Jamaica's Nigel Ellis in eight, and Yang Chunhan, Chinese Taipei in nine. Last final on the track tonight. One more day to come at these championships.
they get anywhere near that 20-second barrier. And we're underway. Keep your eye on Norman in lane six in the red of USA. He's had a tremendous start coming around the top bend now. And certainly Norman with the lead. The South Africans left trailing at the moment. But uh, still chances of medals for them. And it's Lotlala who starts to make a mark. He's in silver at the moment. But Norman takes the goal with consummate ease. Tremendous run. He won that in the first 40 metres. Brilliant start. Brilliant bend. And Mike Michael Norman lives up to his reputation. My goodness, the Americans may be wishing they had him going to Rio. The more experienced athletes got the places, but Norman is an Olympian of the future without a doubt. Fabulous run. That's right, he only just missed out on a place in the Olympic team, and he was a class apart from the firing of the gun. The South Africans hung on well. They picked up a medal there, a silver, the Jamaican. Nigel Ellis coming through late to take the bronze. But Michael Norman, he certainly is one of the, if not the, outstanding athlete at these championships. He has won that. Well, it's bolt-like, isn't it? It really is bolt-like. Totliso Leotlela of South Africa comes through to take the silver. But he's no match for Michael Norman. 21-4 is lifetime best. He's come very close to that here in taking the world junior crown. The Scott Cameron Tyndall, who only got through to this final as a fast loser. He certainly did his uh, reputation a power of good over the course of the last couple of days and another good performance from him there. But what a way to finish this fourth day. Emphatic, look at that. 21-7. Championship record going to Michael Norman. And that is something special. Just three hundredths outside his uh, PB and uh, his season's best. So uh, has to be happy with that. Well, what a way to finish the action on the track. And still some hammer to be completed after that delay, after Gonzalez's misaimed throw. And this is Alexi Yarkala, one of the 80-meter men, lying in.